Hello and welcome to Japanese from Zero, Japanese in Five, where we take five minutes out of that really busy day where you're watching TV all day. The really busy day where you're just playing Xbox and we say, let's learn something and maybe, maybe one day we'll be fluent in Japanese. Let's do it. There's no more excuses. This is number 16. And today, this is a really good one. I really like this one. This is Poi. You're going to hear Poi by itself is typically not said. You might hear someone say it after you've said someone something and they go, ah, Poi, Poi, Poi. Yeah, yeah, like that, like that, like that. But typically it's part of a word. It's sort of a made up word, but there are a lot of actual words that have poi in it. And there are some times where you add poi to something to make it a new word. Let's look at it. For example, this one. Hokori poi. Hokori poi. Hokori means dust. Hokori poi means dusty. Really simple, right? You make it into some sort of like an aspect. It's like dust. It's dusty, right? Here's one that's very common. A lot of you are probably uh, afflicted with this disease. It's called wasure poi, forgetful. You're very forgetful. Watashi wa sugoku wasure poi desu. I am really forgetful. All right. Uh, I can also be hot tempered. What do you think that would be? Hmm, some of you got it. Okori poi, okori poi, hot tempered, okori poi, especially with my children. Let's say you're looking at a phone in China with the company name of Tiggy Miggy Do, because that would be a good name for a phone company. It's going to look pretty cheap. It's going to be Yasu Poi. Sugo Yasu Poi. Wow, that looks really cheap. That's cheap looking. Yasu Poi. This has nothing to do with Yasui Mitai, by the way, because that does not mean it's cheap looking. That means apparently it's cheap. So keep that in mind. All right, what about this one? You can do it with colors. Kuropoi. Kuropoi. It's kind of blackish. It's black. It's like black. Black like. Kuro. What? What? Eh, dare no kuruma desu ka? Eh, which car? Eh, dono kuruma desu ka? A kuropoi yatsu. The blackish one. Ah, kuru, kuropoi no wa watashi no desu. The blackish one is mine. All right. Now, that's legit words. Those words actually would probably come up in the dictionary. I wouldn't be surprised if they came up as actual words. But what about something like this? Nihonjin poi. That's Japanese-like. Uh, there's uh, I, some friends, uh, there's a website uh, my friend was telling me about where you have Asians pop up on the screen and just by looking at their picture you can guess if they're Chinese or Korean or Japanese, which is a cool website. I don't remember what it was called. But he said when he was showing it to his Japanese friends, they were saying, ah, ah, Nihonjin poi, Nihonjin poi. Ah, that's Japanese-like, Nihonjin poi. Okay, so uh, maybe if they look American, you would say, uh, America Jin Poi. Maybe you're doing something that's American like. Maybe you go, America, yeah! And your Japanese friend might go, ah, America Poi, ne. That's pretty American ish of you. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of words. There's a lot more where this came from. If you hear Poi in the end of the word, it's just making it into an ish or a like or an ly, like some. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, now let's do some conjugations. All right. So we're going to go to one of my favorite words that ends in poi. It is iro poi. Because I'm a fan of iro poi. Iro poi means sexy. And I don't have kanji here, but it would be the kanji for color. Literally, colorful. But not meaning colorful. It means sexy. All right. Now I can take this iro poi. It's now its own brand new adjective. It works just like a unique adjective all by itself. Which means, what does that mean? You can conjugate it. Iro pokatta. Drop the E, add kata, was sexy. Saki no 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 ko, iro pokatta. That girl that was just here was sexy, right? Oh gosh, I see the comments now, George, you're so sexist. Uh, iro poku nai. Those of you who post about me not uh, being sexist, you're not sexy. You're iro poku nai. You're not sexy. Uh, what if the girl that was here was not sexy in the past? Iro poku nai is not sexy right now. Iro poku nakatta. Iro poku nakatta. So you see that you can actually conjugate any one of the poi verbs that we have done. Or verbs, poi adjectives. Uh, and I could say, iro poku, sexily. I can make it into an adverb. By the way, you can make most adjectives into adverbs by making it ku like this. So I could say to my girl that's next to me on a show, which I've done this before, I'd say, motto iro poku shabete kudasai. Please speak more sexily. All right, we'll see you next time on Japanese in 5. Bye-bye.